Hello there, Brian again with another tutorial video on Tinkercad. Today we're going to be looking at the view cube. So I've shown you how you can right click and rotate around to view your scene. You can look all around and orbit your objects and your scenes. But you might notice that there's this in the top left here. It's a cube that will rotate around and show you different things, top, right, back, bottom, all these different options here for different views to look at it. So let's take a closer look. When I click on top, you see that it jumps right to the top view and we can see it from a bird's eye view. And as I rotate, then I can see front here so I can quickly jump and see my scene from different angles very quickly. It's very nice and effective. But one thing is, if I want to work with this in a flat uh, 2D type of way, I can't use what's called perspective mode. I need to use something called orthographic. And that right there is the button. At the bottom it says switch to orthographic view. Kind of a weird word. I'm not even really exactly sure what it means, but I know that it means that it flattens it out so that there's no perspective and it's no longer a three-dimensional viewing of the object. So if I click on orthographic, you see that it flattens it, but I need to be exactly in the left with the view cube. So I click left and then, well, let's get it back into perspective here. Click on left and then click orthographic. <laughs> and it's being a little strange because you'll notice if you rotate around, I want to get it just so. All right, <laughs> we'll fix that in post. So you can see here with orthographic that I no longer can see all four tires. These two tires are directly on top of the ones behind it. So there's no perspective. There's no distance anymore. There's no Z, no depth, no third dimension. If you're rotating around while you're in orthographic, you might notice that it gets really strange and weird. What's further away actually looks bigger which is a trick, it's an optical illusion, a trick of your eye. So when I switch here to perspective, you can see it pops into place like you would expect it to look in three dimensions. Now let's see how this might be useful. If I go into the top view and then I click orthographic, it's exactly flat and that will allow me to take this piece over here that I've separated and this is the final piece to put on top of my car as the roof. That way I can get it exactly where I want it, lined up right there. And if I want to look at it from the side view, then I can make sure if it wasn't lined up vertically that I could get it placed perfectly exactly on that plane right there so that we can go from the top and the side and lock it into place exactly where we want it to be using the orthographic view. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, check back in for regular videos that we post and upload regularly. Thanks again.